Today I want to share with you a little discovery that I made the other day. You may already know it, but I didn't know. In SwiftUI there is an environment property that you can access from your views. This property can be, for example, a color scheme which tells if the device is in a dark or light mode. In my case it was a boolean variable called is enabled. That tells you whether the view allows user interaction. I was trying to build a custom button and I had this issue when the button was disabled. Let's go to the Xcode and I will show you how to use it. Okay, so we have a very simple view here, just a text with additional toggle and a button. As you can see, there is a button and if this one accepts the terms, if the bool is false, the button is disabled, so it is not active. So right now I just cannot tap the button and also the button is uh, grayed out. And the toggle is connected to this one, the accept terms. If I will switch it and it is right now true, the button is active, we can tap it and we'll see an alert. So really simple and because we have just like a regular button without any additional styling, you can see that it becomes gray when it is not active. But what if uh, I would like to add my custom button with additional styling? I have this one, like really simple additional button. It is still type button with a text with additional foreground color. So let's try to use this one. And let's add the same so it will be disabled when the access terms is false. So as you can see, right now the first button is disabled. You can tell it's grayed out. But my button, it looks kind of normal, I think. <laughs> when I will switch the toggle, you can see that my custom button is, is not changing. If I will change the toggle, it is active. If I will tap it right now, you can see that it works. But you cannot uh, tell that it is disabled. Let's go to the button. Uh, yeah, this one. I could turn off the foreground color and as you can see, it right now behaves the same because it is still just a button with additional styling. It behaves like a regular button, so you can tell it is blue, you can tell that it is grayed out when the toggle is turned off. So that's fine, but <laughs> I still want to uh, have this title of the button as white because yeah, that's like Let's say that's a design and also it looks a little better. So what can we do to pass this information that this view, this one is, has been disabled. So that's why the environment variable is really viable here. So let's add one. To do this into type environment and inside the bracket, you need to specify a key path. So here is, is enabled and just create a regular variable. And as you can see, it is a Boolean value that indicates whether the view associated with an environment allows user interaction. And the default value is true, so it is enabled. And right now what we can do is, for example, for the button, uh, we can change the opacity. And let's say that when the button is enabled, uh, we can set it to one, so it is still visible as usual. And if the button is disabled, let's say we have like 50% of the opacity. And as you can tell, it definitely <laughs> looks uh, a little different, looks more like it has been uh, turned off, like grayed out. And uh, when you will switch the toggle, it is back on. So the opacity is changing to one. We can also change the, uh, the color of the, of the button. So if it is enabled, we can have it as white and for the disabled maybe gray would be would be better yeah i think so it looks uh, more off when it's grayed out and also gray for the color let's check the documentation as you can see here we have the environment values and you can also this one is uh, for the is enabled there are like a bunch of different ones, like is focus. Also there's one that you can check and see if you are in the dark mode. 
So there's like a bunch of them. You can just go through the documentation and check. And you can check what is here so you can enhance your views and see what's uh, what's available. It will also work uh, if you, for example, don't have a, a regular button. Maybe you just have uh, just a text with uh, additional gesture. So if you have like on gesture, on top gesture and uh, it can still like act as a button. Sometimes you will uh, you will have this, that kind of construction in your code, so it will not be like a typical button, but you still need to have like on tap gesture to do some kind of action. And also in this case, it will uh, it will work. You just need to pass this uh, information, so it still acts as a button. It will just not the foreground will not change. The background of the of the of the button will not change when you will tap it. It will uh, look like a regular view, but still, when you will change the toggle, you will still get the environment variable. It will still be passed, and yeah, it will look like this. And this environment variable, this is enabled. We are getting this value from the environment that is like associated with uh, this view. So in this case, uh, when we have this one, the button. The custom button and we are passing this disabled information to this view then we are getting this from this environment variable so whether we if we will create like a second button and just pass this you can see that this one is disabled and this one is not because here we are actually passing this information to the view itself to this one and then from this environment variable from this getter we are creating this variable here and that's why we can access this information here in our custom button in this view so that's like the connection between the this one the environment variable and this one so we are getting this information from this one from this modifier that's all what i have for you today I hope you enjoyed this video. Please consider subscribing for more videos like this. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.